Hello. Uh, take a seat next to me. Have a mic. Uh, it should work. Mic check. Yep. Yeah, it should work. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Good to see. You. Good to see an artist who uh, actually uh, got prepared that much that they will film the video, and I can see that's from Kiev. So most probably not the first time in Kiev in Ukraine. No, it's not my first time here in Kiev. I've been here actually last time in autumn. I came here with my friend, with my sister, to moderate, to the concert of moderate band oh, from okay. Germany, Berlin. I don't know. You know. Moderate. Yeah, I've been there. It's like I actually stayed for. They said there was two concerts in a row. I did the first one. Yes. So got hidden, like, <laughs> exactly. The second one again. Yeah. So, um, yeah. well, so how do you like it here? Well, it's kind of kind of a native place for me a bit, mm -hmm. so I feel quite comfy, especially now when it's spring, because before in autumn it was a bit sad to be honest and depressed. It's pretty dull here. It's, yes, it it's is. And so monumental, you know, everything is that big that you cannot even feel yourself as a normal human being. Like, just make a little one. So. All right, so um, you are you look very uh, stylish, and I, I can tell that your performance on the Eurovision song would probably have some surprises as well. Can you tell us a bit more of the show you're preparing? Let, let me explain you what, what is happening in there. Uh, so the box on the stage uh, is my inner world. The guy with the horse mask sitting on the ladder is actually a bad guy, the one that I love. And um, the ladder and the mask means a huge emotional distance between us. And when I'm in the end of the song, when I'm going out from this box, that means that I've already decided to step over this self-destructive relationship. Hmm. All right. So it's, even though it's uh, it's it's very emotionally strong song that that. that you have for your vision, but uh, uh, it's even though it, even though it sounds kind of minor, it's actually uh, a happy answer, huh? <laughs> Coming yeah, out yeah, of yeah, a self, self destructive relationship, guys. Well, I really look forward to you. Now I hope you will have uh, many questions for Diana, and we originally start with the good looking guy. <laughs> Hi, Diana. Hello. That's the bird from Eurofile. The rehearsal today, you have a very ambitious show. Um, were you happy about the progress, and what are you going to tune or, or uh, change as, as the days go on? Well, I might say uh, rehearsals are existing for rehearsing, so I might say that uh, today we actually succeeded. We had a couple times of um, playing it on the stage. Of course, there are some little marks that we're going to change, but not that huge. In general, I'm happy. I'm happy with my team. I'm happy with everything that was going over on the stage, so that's it. I'm quite happy. All right, who else is there? Please, the gentleman from France. Here we go. Hi, my name is Pavel from France, Eurovision Magazine. I wanted to know in which bands or in which artists you are catching your musical influences. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I might say that now I'm, I'm not putting any barriers of listening to different genres of music, but for now on, my favorite ones are okay, moderate. It's uh, also it, it's like a, an electronic band, I might say. Uh, as a vocalist, I really love Sarah Vaughan. Okay, of course, unfortunately she's not with us anymore, but and also Gretchen Parlato. She's very romantic jazz singer. I love Active Child from United States. It's a very ma magical guy. He's playing Arfa. He has also a trio, and he's doing very conceptual and romantic music. Well, that's it. <laughs> All right. Cool. Who's next? Uh, yep. Please. Go on. Hello, Lee Hatches, JP from Wave International. I've got two questions. Question one is about your name. How did the idea come up to call you the Hutch? Second question is you're working with uh, composers that have a lot of winners inside, uh, like for Ellen Nicky. 
Hunting Squared and also by Sandra Bjorman and uh, Dirk uh, Dirk Dorp as well as with uh, Andrew they did this one. How did you uh, find each other to do this Eurovision experience? Uh, well, let me ask the first one, yeah? Okay. <clears throat> the Hajj actually uh, is my stage name. My name is Diana and my surname is Hajiva. So, nothing special. The Hajj is the beginning of my name and the beginning of my surname. And this is, I think, simple to name your own band like this. Yes, and another question is, uh, and another answer for the second question is that Okay, there is no, it's not a secret that Sam Elikov is a very uh, famous songwriter in Azerbaijan. And the team uh, was elected for my entrance for the Eurovision uh, Song Contest this year, very, you know, very precise. And, um, there was no... Um, no hesitation. There was no hesitation that we're going to succeed together. This is a very nice mix. <laughs> I, I think so. I hope you do. do. <laughs> All right. Another question, guys? Yep. Um, hi, Alistair again. Uh, I have a question about the ba Baku Jazz Center. I understand you, you, you're, you're active there and you met a former Eurovision winner there. Is that correct? Can you maybe tell us a little about the Baku Jazz Center? Well, uh, let me let me start from the very beginning. From six years old, when I was six, I started to sing in jazz folk ensemble called Baribach, and now I've been singing there for ten years. And we do, and we and we did. Uh, Mike, how can how can I say? We did uh, jazz covers for national music also. So from that on, we were participating in a lot of jazz festivals and things like this and uh, after that when I was like a bit you know like 16 or 17 I already knew all jazz musicians in Baku in our country and uh, as I love jazz music also I was also trying to sing jazz music I, I cannot say that I'm a, that I'm a real jazz musician but I think at some point I feel it and can do it. I'm not that active anymore, by the way, in jazz scene. But I'm still, I still know what is happening in there. <laughs> cool, yeah, please go on. We go again. Um, you've been doing music since a very young age of uh, in your childhood. What would you be doing if you were not a musician? What job would you be doing? This is the second time I've been asking this question today. Uh, well, I never had a time to think, okay. <laughs> what should I do, what, what should I have done if I wasn't a musician, but um, I think it would have been something connected with art, of course. Not of course, but maybe. I will see my next life, I okay. guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, any questions, guys? Let's see. No questions? No money, no money? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I ended. Oh, you have, please, sure. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, in lieu of any other questions, um, Dihaj, I understand that group, or your group, started with just yourself, and then there were two people, and then there were three people performing together. Is it easier? No? Okay. Is it easier what? Yeah, is, it, is it easier to perform as an ensemble or was it easier uh, with, with just yourself? Uh, well, that was the thing, that uh, when I was in London, I've just, I've just sharply realized and felt that I need a band. Because before, after I left uh, Barry Bach Ensemble, I was singing by myself. And at, at, in London, I've just realized that I really want to feel this feeling of being in a band, doing the music right here, right now, all together. So the hash consists from the very beginning from uh, consists of three people. It's me, Ali on drums, and Anar on guitar. And we're doing uh, experimental doom pop music, as we call it. And we think that trio, this triangle, is the ideal form to get together. So we're three of us. 
All right. Well, do we have any more questions, guys? I have, I have a small question. Okay. Um, uh, for for uh, in quite a number of years, Azerbaijan is like one of the uh, most prepared teams on Eurovision. Uh, I understand that's because Eurovision is also as big as in Azerbaijan is in Ukraine. And uh, young artists take this chance to actually get a kick start, get a jump start. Is it the same team that follows you, follows Azerbaijani performers for like last five years, or is it, or do you pick, have to pick your team yourself? Well, I I might say that I'm not that super huge into Eurovision thing before. Now I'm into it, and I might say, of course, people are changing. Not everyone, but people are changing. This year we have very like, how can I say, like collectible team international team so but most of the things that this year are happening by Azerbaijani people by Azerbaijani professionals and we are working together this year so yeah all right so no, no more Russian or Ukrainian producers that would <laughs> do you really want me to tell everything uh. <laughs> no it's not it's not about uh, it's not about being a producer uh, I think that uh, the main uh, point in creating a music product is to look at one destination altogether. And it doesn't matter who is Russian, who is Ukrainian or whatever. It means that we have our hey, yeah, we have our own common idea and we have to work on it. I think that is what is happening right now, this year, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, take this chance uh, to uh, invite the Hajj to the photo stand and take the pictures. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you.